So there are many different routes you can take with Ermac, and you're going to find yourself not getting that crazy big boy damage at first. I feel like if you want that big damage, you're going to actually have to use select cameos such as Scorpion or Janet Cage. Right now, Scorpion is my favorite cameo to pair with Ermac just because of the combo potential you get with this duo. So Ermac has a built-in auto shimmy string, which is the sinking feeling, and that is 1-2 or square triangle. You can see it looks just like this. The first button, the stand one comes out seven frames. And then of course the one, two is eight frames. But this is actually gonna hit high into a mid. So the opponent can expect a grab because Ermax grab is pretty damn tricky. So they're gonna expect the grab and that's when you shimmy them with the sinking feeling string. Now, just like any other combo string in this game, you can, of course, special cancel into a special move. So with the Shrieking Soul special move, which is back forward 3 or back forward X, you can see you actually get a meterless launcher from this move. So with that knowledge, we can just connect the Sinking Feeling into the Shrieking Souls. Just like that. Now, what's really cool is this will give you enough time to dash forward to actually continue the combo. So because we get there in time before they hit the ground, we can actually connect with the Sinking Feeling once again which is one two again that square triangle but this time we're gonna special cancel into the behind you special move which is back forward two or back forward triangle so right now the combo should look just like that and you can see right away for eight hits we only got 21 percent now 21 percent is not good in any fighting game whatsoever so we have to find a way to continue this combo to give us more damage so that's exactly why the scorpion cameo is such a great pair because you have that far fire breath so anytime we use that behind you special move we can actually cancel into the far fire breath and that will continue the combo for us so as the soul comes and knocks them on the ground that's exactly when you want to call in the far fire breath so right now we should have something like this call in scorpion and we get an extended launcher and because this keeps the opponent airborne we have enough time to use our stand four which is just stand circle and then we can special cancel right back into the behind you special move so right now it should look something like this just like that so right away still meterless 14 hits 31 percent now let's not forget that we have two assists from scorpion so we can just loop that concept so right now we have something like this and then we can end one more time with the behind you for 37 percent all meterless that only took two cameo assists now you can also confirm the combo with the stand for as well after the one two shrieking souls what i mean by that is this right here so we can just use the stand four for more damage so if we do one two dash up same exact concept we're gonna loop this and you can see right now we get 38%. So for that extra 1%, use that stand four. Now, another great combo string to use is the back to four or back triangle circle string. And you can see it looks just like this. It's actually a mid and leads right into an overhead. And the cool thing about this string is that it also gives you another meterless launcher. So realistically, if I wanted to, I can just go straight into that one, two string. But what's really cool is I can just special cancel right into these shrieking souls once again. So you can see the difference. If I just go into the 1-2, we get 11%, but whereas if I go into the Shrieking Souls, we get 13%. So you're going to get more damage with this route. Another really cool special move in Ermax kit is the Witch Slam, which is down back 1 or down back square. And you can see the Witch will be summoned, and she will choke slam them. It's so badass. So once we get the back to 4, special cancel into the Shrieking Souls, remember that we're going to dash forward, and we're going to connect with the Stand 4 right into the Witch Slam. So it should be like this, right? just like that now you can also enhance the witch slam which will keep them airborne so it's a whole new property to the special move now because they are lifted off the ground you can actually use an aerial combo attack here so as soon as you enhance that witch slam you're gonna jump in one two three and you see this gives you another pop-up so as soon as you connect with the one two three you're gonna special cancel into the behind you again that's back forward two and as you already know with the far fire breath from scorpion we can now loop that twice so now we should have something like this enhanced version we're gonna jump in one two three special cancel now we call in scorpion one more time to end it. 
So those are going to be your basic combo routes, probably the easiest combos for Ermac. However, NRS actually made Ermac a cancel character, meaning his special moves can be canceled without meter. So if I do the spirit punch, I'm now able to cancel it. I don't actually have to hold that whole animation. So because of that, you can actually connect combo strings with that cancel. So if I start with the one, two, I can special cancel directly into the spirit punch. But knowing that we can cancel it, I can dash forward right out of it. And if you time the cancel perfectly, you can actually connect with another one, two. So now we should have something like this. One, two, and the combo is fully connected. So now instead of using that Shrieking Souls, let's just use his Enhanced Teleport. So now if we do want to cancel the Spirit Punch, we have an option to actually continue a combo. So now with the new structure involving the Enhanced Teleport, we can just use what we already know and do the same exact combo. Stand four, right into the behind you. Call in Scorpion, stand four. And then one more time to end. So 39% for 20 hits. And also one note is that you can cancel off of any combo string Ermac has in his kit. So even if I wanted to use the back two four and then use the spirit punch and cancel out of it, you for sure can. So now you can do different combo routes knowing that you have that option. Now to finish up this video, man, if you're like me and you love those big boy damaging combos, this combo structure is exactly how you'll achieve it. So whenever we get a whiff punish or maybe just a punish in general, we can actually use his stand three and special cancel right into his teleport. Now, because the enhanced teleport keeps them airborne for a decent amount of time, you can actually go with the stand four or stand circle once again, and then special cancel into the shrieking souls to get that meterless launcher. So right now it should look something like this right into it. And then of course we can dash cancel out of it. So once we dash forward, we'll connect with another stand four and then special cancel into the behind you, just like we've seen before. So right now we should have something like this behind you and then you already know we have scorpions far fire breath to catch them so now we just loop this twice there's one there's two so for one bar and two cameo assists we just got 47 percent now if you really want to cash out and use two bars a meter you absolutely can now we'll just change out the behind you with the enhanced witch slam. So we should have something like this. Stand four, enhanced witch slam, and of course she's going to hold him up. So now we just follow the same exact structure from earlier. As soon as we get that enhanced witch slam, we're going to use that aerial combo attack, the one, two, three, and then we're going to special cancel into the behind you and then just loop the far fire breath from Scorpion. So now the combo should look just like this. Dash forward, enhanced version, jump in, one, two, three, grab them, do it one more time, and then to finish it, we're going to get 22 hits, 50%. Now, I know we're starting to get a bit more advanced, man, so I'm going to end it right there. I hope this video was useful, man. If you guys have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Right now, man, I've seen a lot of people say Ermac gets no damage, but I, I hope this video can show otherwise, right? But I appreciate you guys watching, man. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.